Now let's get to this email from Elena. She wrote, so the next legislative session in Salem is a short session lasting maybe a month. Why is it a short session when most sessions are several months long? I don't get it. Great question. Thank you so much. So Oregon lawmakers used to only meet every two years as opposed to every year. This especially made sense back in the days, frankly, a while ago before cars and planes, when it would take days for some, Laker, uh, some lawmakers to get across the state and get to the session in Salem. By 2010, we had cars and planes, basically. Oregon at that point then was just one of five states that still had that system of having sessions every other year, and a lot of people wanted to change that. And in fact, Senate President Peter Courtney told the Oregonian at the time, we cannot make laws. We cannot do a budget the way it's going now. Society is so dynamic and so diverse. There are so many more people than when they first designed this structure that it cannot respond the way it should. Again, that was 2010. So that same year, voters passed a constitutional amendment here in the state requiring Oregon lawmakers to meet every year. The measure says they need to meet for 160 days in odd numbered years and 35 days in even numbered uh, years. So this created the regular and the short sessions. Now, some Republicans have said the short session should really be focused on budget issues and not on passing a bunch of new basically policy bills. And that was their argument during the last short session in 2020 when Democrats were trying to pass cap and trade for the second time. You might remember that failed after Republicans walked out again. And virtually because of that, the session died and nothing got passed. So the question now is, will they run into that same issue again? This new short session starts today. We'll see.